Hi, we're Hayley and Ben Weezy and we are Blue Diamond and doTERRA. Hello, we are Jodie and Mark Naylor. And we are Presidential Diamonds. Hi, my name is Kashmira Devine and I'm a diamond with doTERRA. My name is Vanessa Jean and this is Paul Ovens. We are Aussie Presidential Diamonds and Australian Founders. I'm Jesse Rymers and I'm a Presidential Diamond with doTERRA. I've been building my business for four years. And we've been in doTERRA for two years and nine months. We've been doing doTERRA for almost six years now. I've been doing doTERRA nearly since eight years together with Santoshi. My journey with doTERRA started five years ago. Almost eight years now. I have been with doTERRA for seven years and I reached diamond rank on my sixth year. When I started my journey six years ago back in Australia, my husband thought I was completely crazy. Three and a half years ago, I joined doTERRA. I was 27 at the time. I've been running my own business for three or four years and I was busy. I do not have time, I do not have money and I'm way too overwhelmed and stressed to start anything new. I have two science degrees, I had a successful career, why on earth would I want to start an essential oil business? Life pre doTERRA was I guess one of the normal rat races of what I call the matrix of sort of doing those 60, 70, 80 hour weeks and not getting to enjoy all the, the choices uh, time-wise that you would like to with your family. There's a certain expectation in society to do a nine to five and to be a part of what's expected. Where I was on Centrelink when I started my business, I had no money, um, I was breastfeeding a six month old baby, I have severe social anxiety and I'm on the autism spectrum. I was quite isolated and didn't have a social circle. I have no business experience or tertiary qualifications. There was a few money issues too and um, I had a few fears around what if the business doesn't work and I spend all this money on um, essential oils, okay? Um, I had fears around my husband and what would he think and would I get that support needed to grow this business. So my life before doTERRA, I was definitely in survival mode, living week to week. And to be really honest, in the beginning of my doTERRA journey, I didn't always, uh, didn't really see the, the business opportunity. Thinking by quitting about doTERRA, it happens regularly. I want to tell you about a time, a time that I actually quit doTERRA and that time was actually the day that I ordered my kit. I sat down and watched a video on how to present a class and I think I may have turned green. It's been rough days, there's been definite days when I think I can't do it anymore. It was challenging in the beginning, it was actually really, really hard. But I knew it was something that I wanted to do and I just fell in love with these oils and I felt in my heart that this was it, this was my path. Um, so I ignored my husband for three years and then I hit diamond and then everything was good again. There was a time when we thought about quitting, that was when uh, we sat at the rank of Premier for 18 months. Well, okay, Kim, that's fine if you're if this isn't for you and you don't have enough time, but what's your backup plan? You can never quit on a bad day. You can only quit on the best day of your life. And I thought to myself, I have two choices here. One, go back to doing what I was doing. It was successful. It was working really well. I knew how to do it now. Or two, try doTERRA. I chose it. I dived in and said, I am going to do this business with all my heart. Immerse yourself in the culture of doTERRA and everything it has to offer their integrity, their hearts, their co-impact sourcing, the healing hands. I just fell more and more in love with doTERRA. It's the only business career so far in my life that allows me to be rewarded the more I am me. It was what I saw in front of me throughout the business opportunity and certainly the compensation plan was an opportunity to walk alongside thousands and it was right then and there that I made the decision that I was either going to give in to my fears or I was going to go for my dream. It won't be easy, but it will be worth it. You'll be underpaid for a substantial amount of time and then you'll be adequately paid for a short amount of time and then you'll be overpaid for a lifetime. If you decide that you just want to give it a go and give it everything that you've got for a period of time, you can create absolute success. My advice to you is to, to keep going. You know, any business to get started is it's hard work. And come back to the oils, okay? Do more classes, touch more souls. When you show up to serve, you will overcome challenges. 
in a much more joyous way. So I chose to take consistent action. I chose to do the inner and outer work required to be successful. I chose to keep showing up even in the face of fear and you know, really having no idea what I was doing. I would highly recommend if you can get to as many corporate events as you can and also as many classes as you can because we always learn off um, other teachers. If you have the opportunity to do Diamond Club, do it. It is incredible. The end of Diamond Club made me realise that this could actually be a real business. I can make real money and I can change people's lives. My best piece of advice in doTERRA is probably my best piece of advice in life. It's not about you, but the people that you serve. I am incredibly grateful for the opportunity. I am incredibly grateful. And if I have one piece of advice is that you never give up. N-O, no, means next opportunity. Because my upline asked me to do doTERRA more times than I can count. And I said no more times than I can count. I will always choose my dreams over my fears. If Adisha and I can do it, anyone can do it. It's life changing. I mean, it, it means the world to us. We have transformed our family. We've, um, we, we have hope for a better future and for a legacy to pass on to our children. Uh, we know that we are able to contribute to charities and uh, the world uh, and travel and, and have experiences that we never would have thought possible before. This business allows me to do exactly what I love, get up and teach and inspire people to make healthier choices in their life because those people become a community and we have a two-way conversation that fills my heart with love. This business gives me the opportunity to actually stand up and say, hey, these are the places that I struggle in life, but I know that I'm not the only one. Let's find a solution together. Any words of advice? Tune in. What do you really want from life? What do you have to lose? You have the world's best, most ethical, versatile product as your tool to do so. Everyone needs these oils. Everyone. My advice to you would be just really listen to that tug, listen to that voice in you that's kind of tugging at your shirt sleeve or your pants sleeve going, hey, what is this doTERRA thing? Why am I paying attention to this? This doesn't make any sense. No, it doesn't right now, but it will. So trust your intuition and trust those whispers. Life is about to get grand and glorious and you are about to make a huge impact on the world. And I hope for your sake that you choose your dreams. Thank you.